Okay, so we want to look at uh, this lesson where we talk about salaries. Okay, so the definition of a salary is given here. What is a salary? This is a payment based on a year's work, but it is paid out on a monthly basis. Okay, it is paid out on monthly basis. All right, so what about the there are these terms here that we may look at also. Gross salary. What is it? It can be called a gross salary, gross income, gross pay. What is this? This is a salary plus all other incomes. Okay? Such as allowances, commission, and dividends. Okay? So, let me show you the pay slip here. So, you can see. This is a pay slip. So on the pay slip, what do we have here? There is a basic salary, isn't it? There is a basic salary. There is a housing allowance. There is transport allowance. Okay. Are you, is that clear? Then there is also NAPSA. These are deductions. NAPSA is a deduction. Uh, pay as you earn is a deduction. All right. So, as you can see here, there are deductions that are going to be made. And then these are payments. Okay? So, when you go down here, all these amounts are going to be paid. I mean, to be added. Then you subtract the deductions. Okay? So, we are saying now, the sum of these amounts here is what gives us gross, a gross salary here. Okay? Then after you have subtracted those deductions, what you remain with are what we call is what we call net pay. But here we are looking at what is a gross salary. Gross is when you've added the basic salary plus the housing allowance, transport allowance, and any other allowance that you may be entitled to. So it's very important that you get to know that. All right. So an annual salary, an annual salary. Is the total is, is is your your salary like for the whole year, okay? When you add all the salaries, those basic salaries, okay? I think annual salary is calculated by this basic salary, basic salary multiplied by uh, twelve months. All right, but you always have to read the question. So the the, the annual salary is the the, the total num the total sum of the monthly salaries that we get in one complete year. Okay. That is an annual salary. So if we say, this is an example here. Musonda earns 72000 per year. That is her annual salary. That is her annual salary. What is her monthly pay? What is her monthly pay? So if this is her annual salary, this is supposed to be spread over 12 months so you divide this by 12 say so 72000 oh, sorry sorry 72000 divided by 12 months we can divide there what do we get can we divide how much are we going to get okay how much are we going to get so this is going to tell us that Musonda gets 60,000 per month. And if you are told that this is her monthly salary, what about the annual salary? You multiply monthly salary by 12. All right? I hope that is very clear. Let's go to the second example. The second example reads, Tawana's basic salary is 8,000. Basic salary is 8,000. Okay? And he gets 20% housing allowance. He gets housing allowance of 20% of this basic salary. Okay? On top of that, he also gets 400 kwacha for transport. Okay? So, calculate his gross salary. Calculate his gross salary. So, this... Tawana gets 8,000 basic, 20%. So we need 
20%. 20% is 20 over 100 multiplied by 8,000. 20% of 8,000. Then plus the 400. All right? So we have 8,000 here. Plus, what is 20% of 8,000? What is 20% of 8,000? So you knock out these two zeros and two zeros here. You're going to remain with 80 here. So 80 multiplied by 20. What are you going to have? Okay? What are you going to have? That is going to give you 1,600, isn't it? Then plus 4. Hundred. All right. So when we add all these to get his gross salary, how much are we going to have? This is going to give us how much? When you add this, will be two thousand. So altogether, we're going to have ten thousand. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. 10,000. That's the amount that it's going to get, isn't it? That's the amount that it's going to get. Alright. Then we have the last question here that I want us to look at. Mr. Nyindo received 10,500 kwacha salary. Mr. Nyindo received 10,500 kwacha salary inclusive of 25% housing allowance okay housing allowance so 25% housing allowance 25% of his basic sorry 25% of his basic salary all right 25% allow housing allowance 25% housing allowance of what of his basic salary and and um let me rewrite this question so that you see it okay so we have it here now uh mr nindo received 10500 kwacha salary inclusive of 25% housing allowance of the basic and the 500 kwacha transport allowance okay calculate his basic salary okay calculate his basic salary so first thing first that we are supposed to do here we are dealing with we want basic salary okay then there is this housing allowance okay then there is what the last one there is the transport allowance so transport allowance it's clear we are remaining with the, i mean it's in it's given here as the 500 kwach so meaning we are going to remain with 10,000. So from this 10,000, that is where we have basic salary as well as the housing allowance. Now we are told that in this, okay, it includes 25% of what? Here, it includes 25% of housing allowance. And if you are coming from... You are following these lessons in in, a, in their order. You remember what we did at taxation when we are looking at taxation. So it will make your work very easier here. So we add this. So we're going to have one twenty five, one twenty five percent. Okay, it's giving us. Uh, okay. So, for simplicity, I did explain that uh, this part, if you remember where I'm coming from, there is a 25% in here. There is a 25%, which is what? Uh, 
there's a 25 percent here which is for transport i mean housing allowance so we need to get rid of that we need to get rid of that and i told you that to make your work easier or i'm going to to, to talk about other methods later but to make your work easier all you need to do is to say 100 over 100 over this one now okay this one 125 then multiplied by this amount as it is here all right then we begin to simplify you can simplify it to say uh, 5 here, it's 2, isn't it? What was the remainder 2? Again, 5 into 25 to be, are you seeing that? 5 here to be 2,000. Again, I'll go on and say, you can break it using 5. 5 here, it's 5. 5 here, you have 400, isn't it? Okay. Then you go on and say, 5 here, it's 1. 5 into 40, it's 80. Then you multiply 80 multiplied by, 80 multiplied by 100. What are you going to get? This is going to give you 8,000. So this 8,000 is going to be the basic salary before, before the basic salary. Before the, so if you wanted to know how much was the, uh, was housing allowance, then you just definitely subtract that. So it was uh, 2000. Okay. So let me see if there's another method that I can show you, which is simpler. But I hope, I think this one is okay. Okay. The other method is going to help us to find this one. Not this is not. This is two thousand, not twenty thousand. This is two thousand. Okay. So the other method that I was talking about it to give us this one, but I think this is simpler. It will first give us this one, then we'll need to subtract this one from ten thousand to get this one. Okay. But basically, this is what we are going to get. All right. So let me give you. Uh, questions that you can solve as your exercise so this is our first question here get this one this is our first question okay and then the second one is here okay so here you are getting only question four only question four okay only question four all right